What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Happy Hour podcast. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime that's airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Brian. Hi. And then today, making our his podcast debut, we have Koo. Ooh, howdy. And also making his podcast debut today, we have Sasha. Yo, yo. All right. So this is week two of the fall 2019 uh, current anime season last week we were just trying to um, just figure out this format of the show uh maybe hopefully this time we'll see about the transition a little more we're gonna start right away with the big the heavy hitter my hero academia so this was the first episode of like the actual season so uh, quick, real quickly i just want to hear everyone's thoughts what do you think of this first episode so far yeah no i said i enjoy it quite a bit um i really didn't expect the sidekick to come in I forget what his name was. Uh, uh, Nai-Ai. Nai-Ai? Yeah, I thought yeah. he was a pretty cool character to be introduced. And then he has a weird uh, fetish, I guess, with um, having people laugh. <laughs> Probably my best part of that episode. I was not expecting like uh, just somebody to just straight up get blown up. That did not seem like a uh, hero academia at all. Yeah, that, that's the character that I really like. Raven Crow, like herpes guy. Man, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He touches you, bam! I love the fact that his power is blowing people up and just like getting their guts everywhere. But he hates getting dirty. I think that's actually pretty humorous. So I absolutely love that scene. And then you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but when one of his sidekicks jumped in front of him, I'm pretty sure his sidekick died as well. Did he not? One of yeah. his underlings. Yeah. Yeah. Sidekick. Yep. Did we good? Yeah. I didn't even Random name. guy. Sub <laughs> Zero's third cousin. Roberto <laughs> Zero. I mean, if they're dead, they weren't that important, right? Like episode two. True. Yeah. True. Hey, they could have given us, a, you know, a flashback of the, the the episode, just like his uh his growing up. But his they already put a flashback of the. Uh, yeah, 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 that was pointless. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, this guy, this guy did so much for me, and then bam, just blow it up. It's like, hmm, thanks yeah, for that. Like, what was the flashback. point? What was yeah. the point? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't feel sorry about that guy at all. Really, didn't care about him. So it's uh oh me neither. It is giant. We have like a toenail filer for a weapon. Like that was terrible. <laughs> that brings you closer. Yeah. Or a palace. I don't. That was just. He was just a throwaway character as it is. So I, yeah. I think this new crew is probably going to be more exciting. Yeah. The 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 crow guy does look pretty uh pretty crazy. I guess it's like a little different. But... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, mean, I guess I don't know about crow. It's like he's like a plague doctor. So. Yeah. Is it? Like it's not normal. Character. Like I actually like how they're like uh, spending so much time with like the with the villain side as well. Because like it, it's like as like the hero side, they're um, fighting for what they believe in, but they're also giving it just as much time for the hero uh, for the villains as well. I mean, it yeah. was like I guess it was like with that with like uh, it started with stain, and it's just continued on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I agree. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead, buddy. No, I was going to say, uh, I kind of like how they're kind of progressing it as like, okay, like this season four, it's going to be more serious, it's a more mature atmosphere. And then yeah. it's like all the kitty villains like kind of got blown out or they're kind of like, they don't matter anymore. And then now it's about this new crew that's coming in. And yeah. it was like the high school academia coming through like their second year in school. Like it's it's about to be more serious. So I kind Is of it like the second that. year? I thought they were, I thought it was just the fall because I think they yeah, had summer was, break. I think it's still the first. Like, yeah. yeah, second semester. They're not like. Yeah, yeah. second semester. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What were we going to say, Sasha? I was going to piggyback off of that. I think it's pretty cool to show the villainous development as well because they obviously had a plan, they failed, and typically that's when it derails everything and then you just hear about some new villains coming in on steroids. But Mm -hmm. these guys are trying to regroup and you got Raven Herpes coming in. He's like, yo, guys, (laughs) join my team. You know what I'm saying? Come on. (laughs) So I think unwillingly they're going to join sides and then probably fall apart by the end of this. But I I like the fact that they're actually showing, hey, you know what? We messed up too, just like the good guys did. But we got to work harder as well. So uh, like you said, Sred and Ku, this is pretty good side to the show where it shows maturity and depth. Yeah, like they they still haven't like really shown like the main uh I forgot the the hands guy name, but like really kind of like how his feelings of uh when uh when one frawl went out, it was oh, an awful yeah. one. Sorry, I'm I'm confusing now the two. Awful, awful one. Awful, awful one. one. Yeah. Okay, awful uh, I think one. Yeah. The guy's name is Sh- uh, Sh- Tomura. Tomura Shigaragi. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tomura, Tomura. Tomura sounds right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they, cause they, yeah, because like he lost like a like a huge mentor, but yet they, he hasn't like really like, they really haven't gotten like tapped that yet. 
he's just still i don't know if he's just kind of like a well, so people, of it or? people on reddit were saying that um that like it's kind of like supposed to show his character growth because before he was like that's what lost his temper yeah but now that like yeah he's lost his mentor he has to um basically uh yeah just basically mature on his own oh that's right okay uh, we still haven't seen um the little girl in the opening or, or the the ending so mm-hmm. i just wonder how she's got in all this um I I'm curious to see that one boy with the hat who had to be saved. Remember that guy from the last season? Yeah. Do you think oh, he's going to come back? I though? hate heroes. I, I don't know, but I think it'd be neat to have him come back. Uh-huh. Do you guys think that Deku is going to like break another one of his arms or hands from using... Oh, yeah, probably. This man's going to just <sighs> shatter. For, for some hard. reason, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... like. Uh... It's like, I mean, if it's, uh, if Hero Academia is kind of focusing on, like, uh, character growth, like, I mean, I think they're going to do the same for Deku. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think, because I, I actually do think he's going to focus on his shoot style. I mean, there's going to be times where he's obviously going to use his arms. Um, or, like, uh, I could usually see, like, a scene, like, it's basically the guy's going for, like, the punch, and then, like, his uh, brace just blows up, but his arm's still fine. Or something like that. Because um, his arms look, like, I didn't realize, like, just, like, actually how badly scarred his arms were until, like, this last oh, yeah. episode. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I mean, he basically blew He's it off. That, that is yeah. true. Yeah. Osteoporosis in his hand, basically. <laughs> yep. He's going to just no, like, start pouring milk on him. Yep. Uh, just have to have the, the old, the old uh, medical lady just, you know, take care of it. Does I anyone think remember the big what the... development... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, does anyone remember what the uh, the preview for the next episode is? Uh, no. Uh, I think it was just stuff with Night Eye. Um, that's the only thing I remember. It's because uh, there wasn't I, anything with uh, the villain. Was no, with, uh, well, I'm sure they won't show any of that to spoil yeah. it. Right. Yeah, because yeah, Deku failed to make that dude laugh, and that's where we start. Okay, well, because like it's, I I kind of thought it was really weird just the way that the episode it was like half serious and half like lighthearted. Also, the the Deku like all my face like I don't know what was that? I thought it was pretty good. I thought that was gonna work. I don't, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, was I wasn't feeling it. I was more creeped out. Oh, yeah, he's just like, are you mocking All Might? Mm. Like, <laughs> no fuck. <laughs> yeah, I like that guy a lot. Yeah, we still don't know what Night Eye does, though, do we? No. no. Okay. That, that's the mystery, man. Right, right. <laughs> Sorry, Sasha, go I'll ahead. Tell you guys, I think the major character development, the one we're missing out completely, is, you know, belly button guy. He's going to go from any to <laughs> Ivy. I hate that guy. Belly so button much. guy. Wait, oh, that guy. <laughs> you the one that shoots lasers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Name Yuga? The best guy ever. Dude, I want to say, like, he's a spy. If if anything, he's a spy that's been telling the League of Villains, like, what I don't the, think, the oh, Hero School has been doing. I, I don't think that guy could be a spy. No, that's, <laughs> it. that's exactly the point, right? You would never expect it to be that guy, but he's uh, probably that guy. But they had his flashback, though, remember? In the. God, whatever the that tournament was, I don't know if it was a tournament. Yeah, yeah tournament, like where they had like, his little flashback thing, where I couldn't really take it serious. <laughs> but, yeah, but that could easily be a backstory of like how he became a villain too, right? Like he was sick of all that shit, so he decided to turn yeah. to villain, right? Yeah, because I, I legit, college, he got his belt, right? Yeah, because legit, like the one thing I was scared of, like when they were doing like the whole Bakugo thing, where it made it seem like he could possibly become a villain. I, I just didn't want him to. I didn't want like Hero Academia to follow the Naruto arc, where Close it's basically Sasuke. like. Yeah, where Sasuke yeah. just goes evil, I'm thinking, please don't don't do this. So I'm actually glad that they they still made like basically Bakugo's just just nuts, but he's still like he actually still really wants to become a hero. I mean, that's like the one thing that Hero Academia does well is it's subverting expectations. That was like yeah. a really good uh, subverting like the thing they did right there. So yeah, oh yeah. Anything else, guys? Um, Todoroki, man, what's up, that guy? He went from like highlight of the whole show to just kind of being in the background so i gotta say he got demoted man i need him to step up Dude, he, same remember remember they uh you know he basically had uh he had some stuff against your uh your uh win dude i forgot the guy's oh, name oh that's right yeah the awesome oh that guy, guy yeah I that, that guy was too. awesome yeah you know, i gotta so, say yeah. smiley face like rapist looking guy he's pretty good <laughs> <in this last laughs> episode. who the guy who's like oh hey i'll introduce you to him come on oh, yeah, i'm yeah, yeah. to help you out <laughs> The oh, your guy? hands look a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> Let me massage them for you with my cock. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm actually like the guy. Actually, seems really cool. Like, uh, I'm you know, okay right now. Now. I don't know what are you talking about? Uh, 
<laughs> Dude, what's that RPG that uses like the Pep Boy looking character? Yeah, Fallout. Fallout. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Legit, that's, that's why. Like, it, that's like, like when the guy made that character, he had to have that like in mind when making him. Probably. Who knows what he had in mind when he designed the belly button guy, though. I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, some people have fetishes. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, okay. Okay. But yes, uh, in general, excited. I uh, thought episode two was really good. I, I even thought episode one was decent. Honestly, it was enjoyable. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here, mm-hmm. Academia makes. I think like if when they do have to do like recap episodes, it's they're actually enjoyable. No, yeah. that's I would have to disagree because it's it's what? season four. You do not need a recap episode. Oh. Okay. Well, Sasha, oh, shots okay, fired. To be, to be well, Sasha forgot about the the wind guy and the kind of what happened toward the end of last season though. Hey, hey, to, to be so fair, there are though, people. I have the worst memory about these shows. So, literally, you can tell me, like, yo, man, that camera guy's been Damn in the show guys. for... <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, totally, man. Uh, like, all yeah, right, maybe all right, if they're fair. trying to transgress, like, the story from season three to season four, I get it. But if you're going to recap, like, all the characters, like, all the main characters, it, like, I don't see the point of that. It's season yeah. four. And oh, if you're well, watching I mean, the, the show, you're you're going to know the majority of them. I'm at least glad, though, that they they announced 25 episodes and not 12. Like, if it was 12 and they announced that, I'd be like... Oh, it'd never be 12. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, right. The reason they have to do a recap is because um, because it's a mainstream series in Japan, so they're they're trying to basically do it for the, the TV viewers who aren't regularly caught up. That's true. Oh, gotcha. that uh, I true. see what you're saying. And to Ku's point, I wish they would have spent maybe more time on the main guys. Like, let's be honest, nobody cares about half that cast. Like, you, like yeah. the guy who shoots elbow or tape out of his elbows. Like, come on, man. <laughs> That's true. He's like, like, he like, died. <laughs> <laughs> you can go work at Home Depot or something, man. But <laughs> like, I would have liked to see the scene where Todoroki is just like sitting in his bed. He's about to take some like depression pills. But he's like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> you know, like show me some of that development. Like, elbow tape guy and the guy who turned hard as a rock. By the way, I still don't get what the fuck uh, that lady who does the plugins with her ears and sends sound waves. I have no idea how her power works. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Oh, she basically like can she basically like like te- like it's like it's like putting your ear on a like a wood like on the wall. You can she can hear like super sense of sounds from that. It's like that. Uh, I would I just keep picturing it as like those uh, what are those things that like doctors like take to your chest, basically tell you to breathe and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, stethoscope. I forgot the yeah, stethoscope. Nice. Stethoscope. Yeah, stethoscope. And then she can also like do it in reverse, where she can send out super loud noises too. Ah, uh, yeah. touche. Okay. So there you go. But it's okay. She's not the main cast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think her she's six be. arm guy, they, they're all you know disposable and duct right. tape guy. So yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you the... watch, just you watch the like, the guy with the play hands. You got touched him, and Sasha so get all emotional. <laughs> they, they finally Dude. died. Dude, that guy's intense. Like I like I really appreciate when animes get to the point in an episode because you're like you got 22 minutes if that, and I, I just want to like keep it moving. So when yeah. he comes in, he's like, "Yo, guys." Uh, I'm a bad guy, but you guys know what you're doing. And they're like, we're going to fuck this guy up. Yeah, man, I'm going to follow your toes. He's like, ah, I got you, bitch. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, man, it's intense. Because, like yeah. I said, those guys are the throwaway characters. So. All right. All right. All right. So I think that's it for Hero Academia. We're going to talk real quick about One Piece. Uh, but basically, Sasha here. Only one person right yeah, now. Sasha is yeah. the only yes. one besides Peter, but Peter is not here today. He's so. an unknown person that you guys don't know about yet. So yeah, we'll have Peter, Sasha. my handy dandy co analyst, he, he's currently suffering from a thyroid disorder, guys. So <laughs> he had to take some time off. I'm sorry. He, he ate some soggy noodles. It, it really affected his thyroid. So I apologize on his behalf. Um, <laughs> So speaking as a One Piece fan, now I'll give you the difference. Peter reads the manga, I don't. But as far as this new arc, the Wano arc, I gotta say this is on fire. This is probably the best arc in a while in terms of two things. Number one, they changed the art style. So I got Tatsuya Nagamine. So this guy directed the art for Dragon Ball Super, uh, Broly, and One Piece Film Z, and he has completely changed the look of the show, so it's much better. Animation's much smoother. The fight scenes look like they actually have like some money invested into them. <laughs> and I gotta say, the show so far is moving at a decent pace, where you're like, wow, this is what One Piece used to feel like. The last arc before this, the Big Mom arc, had really good story, but was just 
horribly, horribly paced. So this is really refreshing. Um, plus, I just love seeing Zoro back in action. And then you got to see like Luffy and Zoro together fighting these guys. And the, and the greatest part of the, about the season so far is they plan so far in ahead, uh, Luffy and Law, but then <laughs> Luffy and Zoro are just messing up all those plans. And Law's like, you guys are idiots. Come on, man. We got to do this. So you can tell he, it's a love-hate relationship between them where, you know, he, he loves them as people. He respects them, but he hates the way they go about things. So uh, I absolutely, I'm, I'm loving this arc so far. How's the fillers been so far? Just a good amount? Not too much? Uh, I'll be honest. I don't watch fillers. So okay. as soon as I saw That's them. Understandable. Like, good move. Good move. Here's, here's the deal. If it was filler that was related to this arc, like it was the same art style and they did something, let's say, to the side, like in a nearby village, uh, you know, something's happening here. That would be okay. I, maybe I'd watch it, but it was a complete flashback to <laughs> earlier events. So I'm like, oh. And that's okay. So uh, not a big fan of filler. So um, yes, for no, the arts, no comment of those. What's for that? the for the art style, um, mm -hmm. did you watch any Dragon Ball Super? Because they actually did like kind of like the same thing where at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super they got kind of hammered with the the animation, just kind of art for it, and they actually had they brought somebody else in and then they like they stepped up the animation and it, and it just looked so good. It just made the it just made the anime so much better. So I haven't seen it. I think you might have linked me a clip when it did get better. Like before and after. I don't specifically, yeah, yeah. But it kind of reminds me of Shippuden, where they went from that animation of like that horrible Rock Lee fight, where it's like Rock Lee against this clone, and they're yeah. really like chopping. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> oh man, this is the worst animation I've ever seen. And then you wait for the episodes where they have the big dramatic fights, and obviously increases tenfold. So okay, uh, it's so I refreshing. Budget for that. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then also like just kind of like another comment where I heard from actually Peter that the the that the anime is getting close to the manga of uh, where One Piece is at, so maybe that's why they've been showing more filler. That's that would be my guess. Sure, uh, I mean it's only a one week break, and then I think we get two episodes with a week in between, at, with like no episode. So I'm sure the pacing is going to be here and there, but in yeah. general, it's just a really good arc. Like each episode has held my attention pretty consistently. Nice. Good. Good. All right. Um, I that's all I had to put questions in. Before I go on, before I move on, I want to ask Sasha because I've already asked Peter this. Is like, I am literally at the very beginning of One Piece, right? It's like I oh, just got no. done with Sanji. I was wondering if it's worth to watch the entire thing or try to catch up via manga. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to give you a mixed answer here. I'm going to say. If you can give me the list of the arcs, I'll tell you which ones I think the anime did really well. Like, I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat. There's an arc called uh, Ana's Lobby and Water 7 arc. That's a must-watch for the anime. The rest of the stuff, like especially like Rin Rin Long arc or something like that, that's a god-awful arc. So you can just not even <laughs> watch that. But I would recommend... Uh, you watched Arlong then, right? You've gotten to the past Arlong arc? I don't, I don't know. Arlong is the big, like, big fish guy with the gills. Oh, See, I'm pretty sure that. I'm getting there. So, okay. Uh, so I would watch through there, and then after that, it starts to get a little bit slower, and some things are too goofy for me. So I would recommend watching certain arcs and then reading through other arcs because mm -hmm. they, some of them go painfully slow. So okay. I will tell you which ones. Like, if I'll get a list of them, and I'll tell you which ones I think are better for watching and which ones are better for reading. Okay. Right. Cool. Cool. Yeah, man. But it's definitely a mix them up show because. I watched most of them, except for when it was fillers, and there are certain episodes where you're like, oh, dude, this is this is dragging so hard right now. Like, why did I just spend 20 minutes on this? <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Yeah, so, on. So that's, our, that's our weekly uh, One Piece, so hopefully you'll have Peter on next weekend. You two can go at it. Go back and forth. Right, let me give you my One Piece outro. Gomu, Gomu, out! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks Perfect. For that, Sasha. All right. So next up, um, we're talking a little bit about Vinland Saga. Usually, I talk with this with Brian, but he's not cut up for this episode, so we can wait another week. And currently catching up to Sword Art. Yeah. So we can yeah, wait another week art. and just <laughs> and talk about that. Then um, I know Sasha, you want me to talk a little about, about uh just the show itself, see if it's worth watching, right? Yes. So interesting story. I was with a colleague at work and. 
his colleague was looking for some anime recommendations. So I said, you know what? Take some Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, sprinkle some Death Note on there. And then for your shonen, I highly recommend Hunter Hunter or Hunter X Hunter, whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. And he looked at me. He's like, okay. So he went and he watched it and he came back. He's like, dude, Hunter X Hunter is the most amazing show ever. But I want you to watch a show as well. And I said, okay, tell me what it is. And he looked me in the eyes and he said, Vinland Saga. So I looked at him <laughs> and I just walked away. Uh, and I haven't watched it since. But I am curious to see what you guys think because you may sway me to actually watch it. All right. Brian, you can get, you can get this too since this is just a summary. So uh, it's basically it's a historical fiction uh, manga about Vikings. Basically, um, it takes place in the age of Vikings. It's A lot of the characters are based on real people like the main character, Thor- Thor- Thornfinn. He's based on a real person. We got Leif Erikson in there too. Uh, it's pretty. Nice. Uh, it's a uh, very pretty adult. Like it's like not as gory as Berserk, but it's like there's a lot of battles and there's some gore in there. Just a bunch of Viking battles. So would you say every episode has a lot of action? Or uh, not every episode because I know uh, the first two episodes are kind of slow, and then the third one is when it starts starts picking up. Nice. Is there a lot of like, raping and pillaging going on? It's There's implied. A lot of, yeah, it's, it's implied, a lot but they don't like, show it on screen. <laughs> There's okay, a lot of pillaging, okay. but like not the raping part. It's like it's implied. The only awesome. reason I ask is Berserk has a scene in which is the main guy's name Gus. Gus, yeah. yeah. Yeah, his girlfriend gets raped by like some weird creatures in the forest or whatever it is, and that yeah. completely turned me off the show <laughs> to to the point where even today someone was like, "Dude, it's totally different. You gotta watch it." I was just like, "Nah, man." No, there's no like, there's no like action like on screen. It's like everything's all like implied. Okay. But um, yeah, and like the being because the beginning it starts off with the main character is just a little kid, and then like like I think like episode. What, three or four, I think it's episode four is when like he turns like the teenager, and that's when like the actual show starts. Interesting. So tell me, could you compare it to any other anime, either um, art wise or even story wise? Um, I don't know about art wise for the manga, but this is the same animation studio as Attack on Titan, so mm-hmm. the animation is really nice, especially the the backgrounds. Like you, like because they visit England in some parts too, and like it just looks really nice. Opening song is really good too. Yeah. I'll link that to you. Oh, dude. Just like Attack on Titan. Literally, the only thing I know about that show is that opening theme song. Yeah. The, the and then someone's for... mom dies in the first episode. I'm like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> All time, mom dies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not cool, man. You know. I'll cool. send a link in, uh, in the anime chat, Sasha, if you want to check it out later. Mm, okay. The song's really good. And, like, um, there's, like, so it's, like, the, there's, like, the main character, and there's this other character that he has a relationship with, and, like, it's Pretty much like the whole the whole season so far has been like just those two and like in their interactions besides like the fighting and killing and pillaging. So So tell me, is it set up for one season or do you think they're gonna be more? Um it's currently past the first I mean it's past episode it's past the halfway mark between the first season right now. I don't know if they're continue doing more because the manga is really long. It's and it started like ten years ago, so Oh wow. I'm not sure. I mean, first also, I would also... hope they do more seasons just because of like such a positive response some people have had to it. Like, I don't know because the thing is like this is a this is an Amazon Prime um, exclusive too, so I don't know how Amazon does these anime deals. I think that's the, that's the yeah. only reason why this anime was made because like the manga came out like ten years ago. So, hmm. so uh, so far, what would you rate it? I don't know what your rating skills five yeah, ten. I... Uh, I definitely like at least a nine out of ten. This is like one of my favorite shows. Yeah, for me oh, personally, yeah. it was just a flying ten because I just love this shit. It's so good for me. So Brian, let me ask you there: What's the difference between a flying and a walking ten? Uh, you know, flying <laughs> is like it soars all the way up to the ten. Walking is like it builds up to the ten. You know. Nice, nice. That's exactly. It. Yep, I, I see it now. I'm flying yep. with you, man. Yep. You gotta be though, okay? I can't afford that <laughs> business. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I'm trying to like find some way to subscribe to. Like I don't know. I mean, if okay, man. if you're ever into like Berserk or like super bloody or battled out shows, then this is the one for you. But like, there's there's a bunch of blood. A lot of people getting their limbs chopped off. People are dying. Like some dimensions are like really drastic. Like some characters are just enormous giants, just to show like their vast like power and just strength that they have. But overall, it's 
you know, for some odd reason, I enjoy anime blood more than movie blood. Like, if a movie's really gory, I'm like, ugh, like Saw. When they start cutting off each other's limbs, like, you gotta Same, get out of here, Jack. Too. I'm like, oh, man, get, get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna watch this <laughs> more. But if it's an anime, usually I don't mind. Like, one of my favorite anime of all time is uh, Ninja Scroll. And that's a pretty gory oh, one. Okay. But, yeah. Ninja Scroll. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a good one. Yeah. Yep. That's a childhood favorite. I was like 12 years old. I'm like, yeah, that was good. So. <laughs> no, I'm down. Good right. I, I will check no, out the actually, The thing. only thing I remember about that show is like, uh, the back in the day, we were, uh, I think it was me and Emanuel, we were driving up to uh, St. Cloud and then in the backseat, just watching the movie. I had no idea what to expect. And all of a sudden, you just start, I think there was like uh, some girl that's up getting raped or something. And you just hear that noise, just, you know, vibrate across the car. I'm thinking, God damn it, I'm on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me clarify in defense of that, because I do respect that movie a lot. This girl's not getting raped. However, what happens is <laughs> when she just sleeps with someone, they basically get poisoned. You know, it's like that poison through a coochie. So if you put your ding dong in there, oh man, you did the next day. So what happened was there was this guy destroying a village. His ability was he could turn his whole body as hard as a rock. So she was like, man, I ain't fucking with that rock. So, you know, <laughs> he gets rid of that, becomes a human again, has sex with her. And he's like, I'm good. And then just starts throwing, coughing up blood. So th- that's okay. what it was. Yeah, yeah, I don't quite remember that. I just remember just thinking, like, this is a very awkward car ride. <laughs> See, what you have to do is grow up and look past that, look at the context of the scene. Yes. Right? It's this telling is, a very deep story. See, this was like, God, I don't, I'm pretty sure I was in high school. Dude, you gotta maybe, go back and watch Maybe it. middle school, I don't remember. It must have been elementary, because it, I remember it came out, like, when I was fairly young, and we're about the same age. Yeah. So. Oh, no, it, was it like wasn't 90s. new, though. It wasn't new when I first watched it. It was, it was oh, older. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, we're getting off track. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we're all good. I would say um, if you're watching Inside, at least watch like the first three or four episodes because I think the first two is kind of slow. Yeah, okay, this starts off pretty slow, and then there's uh, the fights really start happening at like not level three, episode three and onward. Okay, I will give it a fair shot. By the way, I want to correct myself. Ninja Scroll came out in 1993. Oof. Okay, year I was born. So... Oh, oh, shots boy. fired! I'm gonna I'm gonna stalk <laughs> you now, man. <laughs> All yeah, right, no, I, I will check it out. I will, by next week, I'll give you the first couple episodes. I have a two-episode policy as it is. If I watch the first episodes, I'm not happy. I'll probably never watch it again. Mm. <laughs> Fair enough. I respect that. Thank Aren't you, you supposed to... What's, like, what's normally the the rule on that? Is it two, three, four episodes? There's no, there's no rule. There's it's just no like, um, at least I like read it, people rule. usually do three episodes. Okay. But yeah, there's like no I'll rule. I'll give it just, more. Because they're so short, they're twenty minutes. But if it was like a you know an hour length show, like then I'd give it two episodes. Yeah. Do you want to give it the length of Steins Gate? <laughs> oh God, no! I kept waiting for that to get good. Oh man! To all you Steins Gate fans, I hate you guys. <laughs> Love you too. Oh man, that was the oh. Like I, I can understand why people like it, but I just did not enjoy it. The second half was definitely better than the first half, but good God, that was a uh, that was a chore to get through. Uh, the banana in the microwave. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm back in time. <laughs> I'll have to eventually finish that uh, show, and then I'll give my thoughts on it. Dude, how far That's did so you far get? To get though, well, however far we got when you were uh, when you were uh, when you were visiting, I think it was like five or six. Oh man, yeah, and it, I think I, I just I've had no trouble. interest. Yeah, I remember you tell you talking about it afterwards, and reading your uh, review on Anime List. Oh yes, yes, yeah, definitely. Well, That's the, the one show it gave that much time because it was so highly regarded. And uh-huh. I, I had to bail out, man. Right, I might bail out. Watch the whole thing and then regret it. <laughs> we'll have to like link our uh, Anime List or something like in the in the videos or the podcasts. Because uh, because be- yeah, some of us like Sasha have actually really good, uh, really good entertaining reviews. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll get, to, I'll get to it. Well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not very uh, good with my words, so I don't think I'll ever make one. Okay, it's okay. You yeah, be fine. Your body. Yeah. I just give it like nine out of ten thumbs up or something. Is that is that good enough? Yeah, you can rate, you can rate shows and stuff. You don't have yeah, to. If you're deformed, man. <laughs> 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 you get some thumbs coming out your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should oh. I do the stereotypical rice bowls? Four out of five rice bowls would, would give more. 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, well, uh, as, as a North Korean Christ. adult, it is a thing in North Korea, <laughs> so just just that's up. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. It's good enough for Kim Jong-un, it's good enough for me, right? That's right. Okay. Anything right. else on Vinland Saga? <laughs> no, I think we're good. So. Let's uh, head over to where I shipped over to uh, Shigeo Soma or Food Wars, the fourth plate. Uh, we're all caught oh, up on that, right? Yeah, unlike yeah. last week, I'm actually caught up to it now. Okay. Um, I just want to say, like, dude, the food looks so good. It does. Like, it's the only thing JC staff got for them. They can make food. <laughs> Do you want to go on a rant, Stren? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> we're always down for a rant. Yeah. It's the only time. I think I got most of it all last week. If something <laughs> else just terrible happens, right. I'll let the podcast know. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So, but again, like, I don't know much about cooking, so I barely I kept up with the cooking. But um, when they like when they was it they were like, cooking up the soy sauce, I was like, uh, I don't know if I want like that kind of sauce on like on my sushi or the ramen. I forgot which one is which. Mm. Soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It it seemed very good, but. Uh... I've never even heard of some of the ingredients I've used before, so I guess I can't judge it as well. But I mean, I would imagine if they were to make it and like present it to me, I would probably eat it just because. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh, I'm trying to think of other like uh, animes that I've watched where they've actually had really good looking food. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I've actually watched anything else with because uh, I didn't watch like that. Uh, was it that a uh, restaurant in another world that I remember you were talking about how it looked really nice. Oh yeah, um, did. Yep, and I, I remember Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> the food looked really nice, but I don't remember. I mean, that's, that's a game. Uh, anything else? Like, so, okay. Yeah, that's completely something else. But My food and Monster Hunter also looks nice. Oh, that's right. That's the other one. Yep, I do remember that. Uh, yeah. not. I didn't really think so. I mean, it was just kind of whatever. It yeah. felt like generic to me. Yeah. Um. Let me just comment on like uh last week. Like uh, um. I actually well. Kind of going back remember? from like, the Did first you... week. Oh god, no! I completely forgot what was going on. Um, that's why like, I got. That's, that's why I needed show... a recap episode. Yeah, that's one episode actually, or show that I wish they had a recap episode because I did not remember where we were. Um, until <laughs> I mean, yeah, it like it came to me like during the episode, like oh yeah, that's right, this happened, this happened, and by the end of the episode, I, I, I was able to kind of recall everything that did happen, but it it took like the whole episode. Um, but uh. Yeah, I mean, that's supposed, but then they only happen like what? Don't they usually do like twelve episodes a season or something? Yeah, last episode, uh, last I think third season. Well, I don't know. Uh, I I cannot remember how long. I think with Tokugeki, it's been split. Like they do, like they say that it's like they do twenty four, and then it's like they do twelve one season, skip, and then do the next twelve. I do um, remember something like that. Um, the third season was uh, twelve episodes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and then, like, if, if it was 24 episodes, like, maybe, because, like you said, you, you probably would have forgotten, but I think I'm going to stick with my, the principle that if, if it's, like, the third or fourth season, and you're watching it, you kind of should know what's going on already, and well, I don't think a recap is necessary. For this, though, for the, the third season aired in summer of 2018. Right. So that was a long time ago. Um, So, I, I mean, I, for sure that hasn't aired for... For over a year, I would actually consider. I would rather have a recap episode for that, uh-huh. um, which I would. I would then say, like, Hero Academia definitely did not need a recap episode, but I'm glad they. But if you were to do a recap episode, I think at least make it kind of enjoyable. I guess like how Hero Academia, where it was just kind of like a, uh-huh. like a story. They made a story out of it. But anyway, uh-huh. I kind I, I kind of agree with Ku though. It's like I don't think this really. I think it's just because for me personally, I would like it. But yeah, they didn't really need a recap. I guess I'm just not as big of a fan as. Tokugeki. That could be it too, yeah. So it's that like that's why I had harder time remembering. Yeah. So yeah, I guess and then, then then again, it was it was only twelve episodes, like so it was basically there and then gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I just the only thing I remembered from from uh, the last season was that it just stopped at such a dumb point. I'm just like, why stop in the middle of the tournament? Like it it would just seem like it was just I don't know. I mean, yeah, this is the second time they did it. Like with the yeah, that is yeah, that is true too. <laughs> It's to build but. suspense for the next season. No, I don't want to build suspense. They should have done it before the tournament starts, like when they step in the stadium. Like, oh I shit, mean, my friends are locked up. Like we were about to start, right? Yeah. Not like do one 
one match and then like just cut it off there. Yeah, it's more like I'm pretty sure what happened was like like the the cutoff for the manga was just so awkward that they had no choice really. Yeah, or it's or it's because it's JC stat. <laughs> they just don't know how to do. They just don't know how to do the damn job. Well, yeah, I don't like see you doing much. anything better. All right, damn. That, that is that is yeah, fair as well. Trent, <laughs> these these animators are just they're they're literally dying. Yeah, <laughs> get you something. Man. Yeah, that, that, maybe, maybe you can go move to Japan and you know slave yourself away for. No, that's fine. Or don't pay. I have a yeah. people just be just me. be hate on people people like you. Yep, they pay people just messaging me saying you're doing a terrible job. It's like thanks, fan. <laughs> yeah, bro, like animators have like the worst, but they just love it so much that they, they just pour their heart and soul into it. So how dare you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I you should know? be thankful for actually having like a like a, something besides like a manga of like some of my favorite shows. So I can actually like see it instead of having to actually read it. Because I'm I don't know, manga light novels they, they just they're just not the same to me. Like I'm I'm Sorry, sure like the story is better. That, you take that facts trend. Like I'm <laughs> like I'm sure like the manga well, or like manga light novel is the best. So what I've if, heard, what but it's liberate. so much more enjoyable to watch it though. Yes, exactly. Yeah, or right. dyslexic. Or True. what if you don't have like a good imagination, partial... right? Like I would never mm-hmm. imagine what Soma sounds like, right? But now that yeah. we have the anime, I can. Yeah, I don't have to worry really, about it. I really want to hear Kirito so See, many times. That, that is the one thing I'm able to actually do. Um, like I can read manga after I've seen the anime because it's just like while reading the manga and seeing it, I, I can you can hear in a way you can kind of like hear the voices in your head and you can just kind of make it like more enjoyable. Yeah. And visualize it as an anime. Right. That is the only way I can really get through it. Yeah, that's true. I would say that. But, but yeah, anyway, we didn't really talk about Shoko Geki, but <laughs> that's fine. Rant. Don't worry, we're good. Um, I just remember like this episode. Like, I finally remember um the the guy who was making the the tuna. I remember he was like the copycat. He was actually the one I did remember. Yeah, uh, yeah. That like that screwed over, uh, like Soma and the other guy. Yeah, I know with with him too. He basically like uh he lost because I remember the previous time he lost to uh so was uh Soma was because of uh Soma added like that one little extra thing to it, which mm-hmm. he did. Not, but then he added it this time and still managed to lose. That's, that's yep. one. That's, that's the one thing that, like I kind of didn't like what this episode's like. Of, like everyone just lost, and it's like I don't uh, really expect them to lose. There's still what? that one Chinese guy. I don't expect him to beat like the number one seed though. Oh. Maybe he will. Mm. Like he said before the episode, and it don't count it out just yet. He's about to sh- like show something that's so good. <laughs> I don't know how that work. How that would work like in terms of the story? That's just really weird. Just have your number one seed be knocked out because then like the final, the final like boss would just be like uh, the the like Irina's yeah. mom, uh, dad. Then there's no way. There's no way that he's losing this round. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's like I don't know. It's just. I yeah, guess I'm mean, built suspense for when like Soma finally, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It's just like, like after all that, they, like they still lost. I don't know. I'm just yeah, picturing. What if, oh, go ahead. Um, no, like what if like it ends up being a tie, right? And I don't know what happens. <laughs> right, but then they didn't really win or lose, and then they'll be like, oh, you know, like if this guy tied, maybe I have a chance to beat him, and it builds up suspense for later on. Hmm. I can see it easily going as like basic because like they they sweep the first round and then they sweep this round or the other mm-hmm. side sweeps this round, and then, I mean, I mean eventually like, I think that's going to be the, this is the only round that that's going to happen, and I can actually I can see like the next round where it's like a side wins two and then the other one wins one, and then the next one where the other side basically kind of like reverse until like it finally like, to like the final showdown. That's what I'm kind of guessing. I mean, I'm still enjoying Shokugeki even though it's like it's. I mean, you can, it's you can kind of tell like what's going to happen. Um, it's uh, it's it's very it's fairly predictable. I think it's because it's like the main appeal is just the food. Yeah, I mean, it's still trying to jump. It's, I'm still real. It's it's not the food. Let's be real. We need <laughs> okay. more. We need more Megumi. That's what we need. We need more Megumi Arena. Uh, we need those food gasms. Yeah, we need more of those. Right? You say yep. more Megumi, but like, <laughs> she's not gonna get. I, she's, She's not gonna pair it off with Soma at the end. I can just tell. Like they're at force like like she... Soma and, and Irina. Hey, if, if Hinata and Naruto can can happen, I believe in Megumi <laughs> and Soma, all right? I don't think it's gonna happen. I think the author's gotta force it. Like he's been trying so hard to like to like make Irina less Sundre. Like As much as I yeah, I have to kind of agree with David. As much as I would like for like uh Soma to end up with Megumi, I don't think it's gonna happen because they're definitely like hard pushing Irina now. 
and uh, not hard pushing, but you can you can tell it's they give like, me a more 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 care, like more spotlight and more character more, development. More development, yeah. Which so, like, just like I make, it's, make it's it, R.I.P. Like, Megumi. Yeah, to make the audience actually think that we care about her. <laughs> yeah, which I actually do. Like, I there's actually a lot of characters in Shokugeki that I actually like. I think they're awesome. <clears throat> I feel like I feel like the the dorm kind of forgettable because like. like Fairly oh god, yeah. Like, I mean, annoying. like a lot of those, like kind of like dorm characters, but it's like like uh, mm-hmm. uh, I think the only ones would be, God, the was it the the Italian guy? I forgot the guy and his brother. Well, that that's not the dorm though. That's um, yeah, that's, those, yeah, that's that, that's, that's, that's what I was gonna ask. Like the Aldini brothers. The yeah. Aldini, yeah. I was gonna ask but if they were actually like in the dorm or not because like no, I just remember. just showing his friends slash rival rivals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I do remember the rivals. But also, I was gonna say too, like, how do you guys let? Alligator meat with Kai and Pepper lose out to African Robin. Yeah, that's, that just seems. Yeah, no. When we heard African Robin, I was like, "This guy's winning. There's no way he's losing to alligators," and he did. I'm like, "That's a lie." Kate Coma <laughs> wins again. She that's a GD lie for a reason. <sighs> no, no, no. Kate Coma just wins out in the end. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, I actually do like that character. Like, I actually think she's an awesome character. But come on. Oh, yeah, that, I don't know. The, the, that was the pace for the the African ramen. It looks so good, like having the uh, yeah, like cayenne pepper and like a bunch of these other ingredients. Yeah, the alligator stuff looked terrible. I'm like, this look, this was, this it is looked, unedible. It looked like it looked like, it looked like fall. Pepper. It was like drowned out in like sriracha. Yeah, just straight up GD peppers. Bro, have you ever had alligator before? It's actually pretty good. I've had to, I've had the things at the state fair. No, that shit um, doesn't count, man. Come on now. That's alligator, bro. <laughs> it's like what? Put on a stick and fried. Anything put on a stick and fried is good, bro. That's that's why we have a whole. All right, fair enough. Care true. Care about true. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anything fried. There's a good chance. I'm. I'll try it. Yeah. Right. Um. Sure, but all right. Yeah. One day I will try alligator, but I, I doubt it's going to be as good as ramen. But then know, again, day, I, I don't one, like extreme one, spicy stuff either. So. No. One day we'll have to go south and get you some some good southern food, and then uh, yeah, we'll see is what you think about then. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but then yeah. Trent is so excited to visit since oh, I love this RE7. He, he really yeah. wants to visit after RE7. Yeah, yeah especially uh, was it where was it uh, Louisiana? Louisiana, yeah. Yep, definitely. I want to see where that took place. I want to spend the night there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we can do that. And we'll yeah, try out by again. myself, solo with cameras. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, you had a. Uh, didn't you have to take out alligators too? With the deformed? Or I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> doing after. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, um any other thoughts on Fire uh, or, I was gonna uh, say, say um Shogi, like um the, all the people like <clears throat> behind bars who it's like 'cause um like um Alice and uh, the other guy she's with and like the the guy with the spices, like yeah. I feel like they're gonna get sidelined this arc. I think it's just gonna be a yeah. Soma from now on. I feel like they already are, right? Like if you're yeah, they're box, already out. Screwed, yeah, they're basically, oh, yeah. Yeah. The people in the box are already expelled. Okay, I, I forgot about that. This has been yeah. such a while since the last. I know, right? Oh. Yeah, but uh, Megumi is not in the box, though, right? She's no. still outside. Okay. Megumi, the older Aldini brother, uh, Eruna, Soma is good. And then okay. you have the Chinese dude. You have the third, the third C dude. Um, third C just lost, though. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like the one that's not in the box yet. Right. right that's not expelled. So, so if they lose, they're are they still in? I, I can't remember. I think well, it's like can... as long as like anyone on on the rebel side like survives, basically. Okay, so they're uh, out there. I think I, I think it's how it goes. Okay. No, I remember it was based on the a point system, right? Was it points? Team match, right? Okay. I, I, can't, okay, I don't oh. remember. Because <laughs> oh, because those students were already previously expelled because of their other thing. Because remember they had to. Yeah, they, they had failed to face, the exam. Yeah, they, yeah, they failed the exam because they lost to those like those other. Not the that that not the the main the seats, but the 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 second elites, right? No, they I lost think? to the elite tens. Like was it the, the elite? Okay. The original elite tens, yeah. Okay, so remember that they had... the only. I'm sorry. Uh, no, go, ahead. go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say they because they originally like some of them they had to face like the, like the people that were below the elite, elite ten, but mm-hmm. then they beat them, but then they had to face the elite ten, right? Uh, something like that, or did some of them have okay. to face the elite ten? So, so basically, after they did their first two exams, right, that was kind of like fixed against them. Um, yeah. They each went on their own separate trains, and I think it was like a two to a train, mm-hmm. and then they each had to face an elite ten, like the original elite ten, and they all lost. And the only reason why Megumi and Aldini survived is because they got the second seat girl, and then you know how she's kind of like whatever, right? She just wanted them to make something to eat, and she liked it, and then she made them pass. And then Soma oh, had to fight wait. the. Uh, the the spice guy that became the new ninth seat. I do remember. Yep, and the, yeah, he actually beat him. That's right. right. Okay. And then okay, gotcha. uh, 
yeah, and then Arenal is just there because she's the Tempsito or whatever. But yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? No, that's, uh, that's all I had to say. I again, I barely remember what happens okay. in the show. Yeah, I felt like I felt like the second episode was a little lackluster, though. Um, I felt like they, they could have done more. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but we'll see what happens in the third and fourth episode. Yeah, I still can't wait. I love the show. It's it, it's enjoyable. I still have hopes for Megumi. I'm just saying, still have hopes. I mean, I'm gonna hope too. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna still hope. But uh, we're gonna ask you about that at the end. Yep. Oh, right. Mark when, my uh, words. Happens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So, oh, that's it for Shogaki. We're gonna move on over to Fire Force. Um, I just wanna say I, every time I like watch a Fire Force episode, I always play the the opening song on repeat. Do you really? Yeah. So I, I got it stuck in my head, or at least this weekend, it was like stuck in my head all all day yeah, yeah it's, good. Bit. it's uh I, I didn't like it at first but it kind of grows on you after a while i, really I liked it like the first episode i saw so i think they're aren't they supposed to be uh switching the opening though like on i think it's soon, because technically it's supposed to be the second season now so i, yeah, I, I'm I don't still going. i don't expect it to like be as good as the first the first yeah. season song. but i mean I, yeah it's like if it's anything like villain saga that second that second uh song oh my god it's <laughs> nowhere near that first one yeah. Um, but anyway, um, uh, I don't know. What do you think about this up this week's episode, Fire Force? Benny Morrow's best character. He's so awesome. <laughs> I mean, if a guy if if a guy can fight with flaming mops, I mean, you can't beat that. Are they <laughs> mops? Are they just just like, I think aren't they like just like the uh, aren't they like the the paper like the Shinto paper that the priests like? Yeah, um, that, it lights up. Yeah, way, way around. <laughs> Those things look straight up like mops. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep calling them mops for the whole season. Man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. I, the entire season, I'll probably I'll consider them as or I will call them mops. Yeah. I don't know what they are, but I just like first when I saw that, I must have like missed like when they talked about it, or I just don't remember. I just remember thinking like when he set that thing aflame, I was like, damn, this guy just said mops and throwing them at people. <laughs> but uh, no, I think they're actually the the Shinto rods that people use the the Shinto priest or whatever uses to yeah. like, pray whatever, and then those yeah. just giant versions of it. Yeah, that's all okay. I thought too. All right, all right, that makes sense. Um, I, 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 I still like mops, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so like I, this episode, I kind of thought it was really weird to how like how you know we had that tension last week where he got got tricked by the 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 lookalikes for whatever, like that how right away it goes into the whole town like being tricked by all these like yeah people that, that look the same as other people. Like I don't know, I just felt like that transition just felt like really weird it was yeah. it, it definitely seemed like they skipped something yeah i feel like they could have uh built that tension up more but they kind of just dropped it after one episode which i find to be kind of disappointing a lot of those uh a lot of those situations though, i see them as like I, I i always just think that that the manga must have explained it better but then like because of like it's the anime and they have like a a specific amount of time that they just kind of skip that. I don't, kind of like I, don't that something happened. I don't think people were complaining that the manga has been skipping over. No, no, no. I mean, like the manga explained it better, mm-hmm. or I they, guess, yeah. or they they took longer uh, going through that part. Yes, I, I will say, know. like so far, like um, at least like this arc with like the with Asakura and stuff, and like the old Japanese town. Like it's, um, I really like it so far. Like I'm actually excited, more excited for the next episodes compared to like before. Same. Like even like in these episodes, like where it's just like where there really shouldn't be like any point to have like the uh, the fan service. They still somehow make it there. It's just like oh, like we could be in a really serious scene. Oh, flashback to the kitty girl, and then it's just like titties. It's just like thanks, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, just got thrown in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely needed that. <laughs> we don't, we don't know, we don't understand this girl's abilities yet, but keep throwing it at us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you got you got to fit all the criteria, you know. Gotta, yeah, that's yeah. I, from a, cool. Like I never saw um, uh, Soul Eater, but I I I mean, I from what I've got from like a bunch of people that there's a bunch of fan service, so it's just like, I mean, it makes sense. It's 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 whatever at this point. I, yeah. I'm still enjoying. The, I'm I'm actually enjoying the show, more, like what I have been, just because like the characters I've uh-huh. introduced. I'm very interested to see like what they do, like how uh-huh. it progresses. I like the the two like, kind of like I mean we already saw them before, but like the like, the Arrow chick and uh the other guy like they're pretty interesting so far even though oh, the, the crazy christian people <laughs> i mean I everyone's uh... pretty <laughs> that is fair yeah never mind 
Uh, just, it's just like they're right? they're a cult, all right. It could right. be it could be it could be a Lutheran, it could be you know Christians, it could be. Hey, a... They're just a cults, right? All right. Okay, cults, cults. We'll go with cults. We're, we're gonna get shut down if you don't stop using certain groups. All right. That's fair. That's fair. I apologize. We'll just call. Although, like the 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 guy he took the the bugs, so he's gonna be eternal infernal next week. But hmm. I kind of have this feeling too. No, I'm good. <laughs> I kind of have this feeling the chick is gonna like um turn it like turn in a good side. Wait. Since like uh, they like they showed her face and like you mean the sniper, yeah, the, the sniper. Girl? Okay. Oh. Um, I, don't know, I just have a feeling. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. No. Usually, you know, crazy, crazy cults and other shows that they basically hold to their beliefs to the end, and then they <laughs> become uh, they become the monster. Well, I don't know because then you know that uh, the fifth district uh, leader, the the character girl, yeah, like she became good after being persuaded by. That is true. FC. Isn't that really? The thing is, she was not really evil, but I don't. That's why like her arc was really weird, because like, because it made it sound like she was like or at least crazy, and then like she just like just turned around just like that. Well, well, she that's had the her thing, beliefs, right? Yeah, she had her beliefs. It wasn't like she was crazy. It was just that she really held strong to her beliefs, which was yeah. dictated by her past, right? So, right. So maybe the MC can overturn the, the sniper lady's uh, ideals too. Like maybe that's his power, right? He he's a demon that can like convert you to the good side, right? So maybe that's the thing. Yeah. I can see that. That's the only I way I can see her turning over to be. Yeah. To the I guess. Uh, do you guys think that we're gonna see him fight his brother during the season? Oh yeah, it's in the opening. Uh, <laughs> that was it? I, <laughs> it I th- wait, it's it, is it the in the opening or the ending? The ending is the church oh, burning down. Same one. Never mind. Yeah. So, oh I would oh say, no! Yeah. I watched the okay. I watched the PV. There was a PV for this season, oh, and okay. uh, he was in it. Yeah. Sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> but to be fair, it was PV. It was released. This is why I don't watch PVs, man. It doesn't, yeah. It's gonna happen eventually, right? There, it's it's leading up to it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, I bring just, your ass back home, and then it's like, nope, you gotta fight me first. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes you just don't know if it's gonna happen. Like, like, like you know, it's gonna happen, but you don't know when, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't don't know it's gonna happen during the season, or they're gonna delay it till like later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, next. Uh, is there anything else you guys have? Because it looks like next week you're just gonna be fighting the Inferno. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm basically just waiting for the fight. Yeah, basically. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the next two episodes. It's going to be oh, not, it's going to be a fight and then like a recap of like why they're the way they are, I'm assuming. Yep, the cooldown period. Mm-hmm. The budget episode. <laughs> Alright, All right, so that's it for Fire Force. We're uh, headed right over to Dr. Stone. Um, This, this week's episode was pretty... But, I don't know how crazy, but like, that was pretty interesting what happened. I, I mean, I, I'm actually interested in the whole flashback. So the episode was awesome. Yeah, this, this episode we found out that like the village was basically founded by Senku's dad because he, he was an he was astronaut. One of like, the last he, six that were alive yeah, or something. The last six people were actually expecting to. Uh, if it's like, like if like the whole village was basically like descends of all six of those people, uh-huh. that's like not a lot to go off of. I mean, like right now, it it seems like I mean for like what we see, like that's what we're to believe, I guess. Yeah. Oh, did you also did you see the news that um the there's a spin off manga featuring um the dad? Okay, was that well I saw the, like the news, but it's like I mean I don't really read uh you, you kinda cut off there. No no that that was it, sorry. I mean I, I didn't really have much more to say about okay, I did wait. I did see the news on news. Yeah, it basically was um announcing that uh but yeah, there's a new spin-off manga featuring the dad, so that'd be pretty interesting. I mean, I would say, like, I would, you know, I'm interested, but I I, I read so little manga. Maybe I'll get to it at some point, if uh, if it's translated. Hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, they'd have to make his character, like, really interesting for me to want to read the manga. Yeah, I mean, after that episode, like, I mean, I am interested, but I don't know if it's the point, like, I'm I mean, I guess, like to read not, about like, it. I'm just more interested in just, like, just basically what happened, but maybe I'll just, like, Read the synopsis or whatever, or the summary. Because mm-hmm. the whole episode was basically um, the backstory with like with his dad. Um... Yeah, and, and before like uh, yeah, it was like back when he actually found out that he was like a I don't want to say a, f- a failed astronaut. Um, but he no, he failed like the the first exams. Yeah, and he was uh, a swim. 
Right, um, right, right. And then uh, that's right. Then Senku made uh, an outfit for him to to help him with swimming. Mm-hmm. And according to his dad, it didn't help him at all. <laughs> he somehow passed, so it must have. Yeah, he did pass. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't just it wasn't the suit, it was just like the motivation that his son just made. Yeah, it. that's that's basically yeah. what. I, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, the whole episode I thought was really awesome. I thought it was really yeah. cool. I thought it was um, heartwarming. Yeah, but... so, like some flashback episodes, it's just like, oh god, not this. But this one, I actually, I was, I was okay with perfectly. Yeah, the, 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 I only, I call it flashbacks if it's like repeating stuff that the audience has seen, but we never saw this. So oh right, yeah, right. I, I, I see it as just part of like you know the backstory. Like backstory, yeah. Backstory. Yep. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I don't mind it as much. I just hope that they don't prolong it for like two, three episodes, and then. I think. I think this is. Wasn't this, I think I don't know. Do you think we're just gonna show more next week of like? I want to say they're going to release two more episodes in regards yeah. to the origin story, right? Oh, because yeah. at the end of this episode with like all the light, right? Now they're going to go back and the try to and then the the next week it's going to be like, okay, like what does this is what happened to them? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I think yeah, definitely next episode. I think it's like they're they're going to go, they're going to be going back to Earth, and they're basically just all going to realize like what happened. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I, then it's basically just like what to do next. And then, like how Ku said, then the, then the next episode is basically, uh, like what they did to kind of jumpstart stuff. And then I think then it's gonna flash back to, or then it's gonna go back to Senku. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's, I guess that's really all I gotta say. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we gotta say about this week's episode, Doctor Stone. So. Yep. It was good. I'm very interested. <laughs> all right, so that's it for Doctor Stone. We're gonna head over to Fate Grand Order. All right, this last week we like we kind of butchered this part because like we had to spend so many so much time explaining fate in general. Yep, and um, I was not caught up to the to fate geo like where they were at. So wow. this week we're cutting out the BS. We're strive right into. Let's start with yeah. episode two because you didn't. What do you think of the fight, Stren? I mean, I, I thought it was awesome. Like, they uh, was it Cloverworks? Like, I definitely do see them as like uh, I don't know what they like with their animation start like uh, style. Like, it, it just seems similar to Ufotable. I mean, there's always like those, um, there's those or Ufotable with what they did for Fate Grand Order, um, or not Fate Grand Order, but Fate Stay. Like, Fate there's Stay, yeah. there's similar like, they make similarities and it just I, I don't know like the fight scenes like they just look nice. Um, even with like some of the like uh, scenes where they they end up using CGI, but they. But I, I, I want to say, like, they don't focus on it for too long. So it's not, like, something where, like, for me, where it's just like, oh, God, CGI. Like, you don't have time to actually think about that. <laughs> like, they have they show up for maybe, like, a, a flash, and then they go back to, like, a, actually, like, actual animation. I mean, it was really the first episode that bothered, like, that had the yeah. most CGI, really. Like, yeah, that's, no, what no, I was saying, that, that's what I was saying last week with, like, the random CGI. Yeah. Like, but I was okay with it. Like, it didn't bother me at all, which is really weird, because I hate CGI in anime. But, uh, it, I mean, it's fine. Um, yeah. But, no, the, the fight was really cool. It was also uh, it was pretty cool to see. Um, I think episode two is that when you meet Merlin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's basically I, where the fight was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah, I, um, I did not play Fake Ground Order for too long. I had basically saved up for a, a bunch to try to get one character didn't get it, so I dropped the game. Um, but it was cool to see. It was cool to see Merlin, and also by the voice actor of Cloud. <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> I didn't know that. Actor. Yeah. The guy just plays the most epic characters. You got the he plays that he plays the naked guy in Shokugeki. He's he's the best. Um, and then uh, and then third episode. I I, uh, I also like how I think it's in. I can't. Remember, I don't remember if it was the second or third episode now, but uh, they you kind of got to like to know uh Gilgamesh. Um. Yeah. That that was. I think that was like basically like end up second episode at the beginning of third. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was really cool because they say like, oh god, he's like a he's like he's like a tired tyrant and all this other stuff, but it actually seems like he cares about everybody. So I don't know because it's like I just know the Gilgamesh from from Fate Today, yeah. where the uh, and Fate Zero. Well, actually, Fate Zero, I don't I didn't think he was that bad, but he was an asshole in Fate Today. Um, and then so I was a picturing him. I was like, oh god, this guy's gonna be awful. But it, I think they're kind of going off like the Fate Zero um aspect where he's uh where he's actually like. Like, I wouldn't say he's ruthless, but he actually cares for his people. I think he's like he's acting more like like a, a leader, yeah, in like leading like a group instead of just like thinking he's he's above everyone else. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, yep. 
uh, fight scene know. episode three is really really cool too. It was. It basically. Like, shows I guess the only thing I worry about the fight scenes like is like uh, episode two. They kind of did a little too much of like the camera zoom. Like, it'd be nice um, to like. It'd be nice if it was just like it was more like it was it was a little bit smoother with the camera. Yeah. Um, I, I thought they were a lot. I thought they they kind of. I don't want to say fixed it, but I thought it was a lot better in the third episode. Third episode was awesome. the, Yeah. Yeah. Um, because a lot of those fight scenes with the God, I don't remember the girl with the with the, with the chains, but like some of like uh-huh. the animation, yeah, yeah, the, some of the animation with the fights for her were were actually really awesome. Yeah, she, that was she's, definitely my favorite she's part. Like, of the fight. really cool so far. Because like, because like in because besides like Heaven's Field, we don't really see like a writer type uh, yeah. servant, so it's right. nice seeing that in animation. Also, uh, Ish, we find out that the Rin look uh, character is Ishtar. Still don't explain why she looks like Rin. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to it, or they just decided, like, oh, let's just make her look like Rin. And like, she even acts like, <laughs> like Rin, too, like the Sunray part. Like, oh my god. Yep, yep exactly. So th- there's got to be something with that, unless. I, 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 can't I feel just like it's it. just got a dumb coincidence that they just decided to make. They, they just kind of made it for the, just the fun of it, just to have her as something. I, I guess they do. It's interesting, because she's, and because we find out she's, that she's part of the, the three goddesses. So Yes, but I, we don't I, know the other two yet. No, but like I don't know. If this is like if the goddess part of that's part of like the epic of Gilgamesh, or is this something else like going on? Like if it's just like a fate, like like special or something, right? See, this is why I wish I knew like the story of the epic of Gilgamesh, so I can actually like, like yeah. be familiar or at well, least appreciate assume, it more. You would assume though. I mean, this is like the this is the arc with with uh, Gilgamesh, so you would assume that they would kind of go through that stuff eventually. I mean. Um... Because we, because they really did not go like uh, I just I'm I'm just assuming like most of these anime that they're just gonna have like a I don't want to say like a flashback episode but a like a backstory episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and Gilgamesh has not had that yet. I don't think he even had it in Fate Day or anything. Fate Zero, nothing. So, so we'll, yeah, maybe, we'll see it. maybe we'll see. Yeah. Um, I was trying. Okay, at the end was that um the the fake um in Kido that that was fighting them. Or is that some other character that was like the snake? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, my I thoughts on it were maybe she's one of the goddesses. I don't oh, know. Okay, okay. It was I, I couldn't tell who that was. So like, yeah, I, I mean, I I don't know who she is. I, I just it's, it's, I just uh, I'm just guessing it's like because uh, they did say that they were gonna they were gonna defeat the three goddesses for Gilgamesh. So I'm guessing that maybe it's it's I mean it's got to be one of the the goddesses. So she, seems, I she seems evil as fuck, though. But that's one thing that's confusing too. Cause like, so they need they need the Holy Grail, but he already has it. So, did that, yeah, so did, like, did they have to take it away from him? And it, like, it just seems like they have to please him and just kind of hope he gives it up. Even well, though, I, like, I can't like, is the whole point is like taking away the like, Holy Grail from the time period? Is that why they're there? Uh, I mean, because the, uh, don't they have to like use the Holy Grail or the? I, I can't remember, but it's, see, it's, like, it's to like, save humanity. That's all I know. Yeah, so it's like, cause, so he already has it. So basically, this whole like roundabout way is just get the, the Grail. Yeah, but I, I mean, from knowing Gilgamesh in Zero and Fate Stay, like even if you help the guy, I can't see him giving it over. So I, I think it, it, there's gonna have to be like another like fight with well, him. There's... What was this Noble Phantasm again? Like I know what it does, like all the swords, but I just forgot the name. Was it Babylon? Was Babylon? Is that the name? I swear, of it? I, th- I swear, it was like I, I want to say it was maybe actually Babylonia, kind of like the name okay. of the, uh, this arc. Okay, so. but but we'll find out. I, I yeah. mean, I would I would look I'm back. Just, I'm just waiting for that moment. Yeah, well, I actually, he, he kind of he kind of already did it like with like the the port fight, but like I want to see him use fully all his swords, like that like that red looking lance thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because remember the yeah the red looking lance. That's the thing that basically just destroys armies. I'm trying to remember from Fate Zero. That's, that's when he destroyed uh, Ryder. He basically he pulled that out and just destroyed his entire army in yeah. just like one sweep. It's like wow, okay, <laughs> that's not overpowered. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, that's I guess that's all that really happened. I mean, I guess they were uh, yeah. They're, they're, so they're they're pleasing Gilgamesh by helping the townspeople. They're they're just doing missions, and I believe that's all that happened. Dude, when they when Anna asked them to go help her out, and they're just killing like the things like, in the rats swamp. in the sewers, like man, it's <laughs> such an RPG. Yep, this is definitely one of the. I'm pro, I'm pretty sure like one of the the missions or levels you had to do in Fake Ground. I have not got that far, but, yeah, I, this, but when I, I mean, see something like that, it's it's probably referencing the game. Yeah. So far, I'm just I'm just basically waiting for like 
just the fight scene with Gilgamesh. Because besides that, it's like this episode three is pretty like slice of life and. Yeah, besides the fight with Gilgamesh, that was about like, it. Yeah, that's not really what I want. Want to watch this for? I I just want to watch a fight scene. So I'm not really the best person to like to. Yeah, I, I can't picture for, them having for a discussion for this series. Yeah, I, I can't picture them having too many of the slice of life episodes. It's never really been Fate's Day. Um, so I'm guessing that this is probably this is, has got to be like maybe one of two. Um, for the season, I can't see them really having many more than this. Yeah, so... because you know, being lighthearted is not Fate's Day. <laughs> or I mean, the original, like, almost somewhat. Like, it was a bit more highly hard than Fate Zero. Well, yeah. I mean, there's m- most stuff is and, like, a lot more lighthearted. Than... A lot of spin-offs were more lighthearted too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, Zero was absolutely depressing. No, I'm just saying, like, like Apocrypha and Fate Exilia weren't that bad. Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. Never mind then. No, no. I mean, like, I don't think they were like that depressing. I mean, it's a lot of the things that. I mean, just because like the story, the story in Fate, it's like there can only be one. So you just assume everybody's gonna die besides maybe one person. So it's just like, so you kind of like you're prepped and ready for it. So it does in that way. I guess it doesn't make it depressing, but Zero made it seem very depressing. Um, because it just seemed, it just felt like everybody lost. <laughs> also, I'll say too, I'm, I'm expecting Mash to like do something epic because I assume at this point in the game she has to be so like strong from all she's... the XP she's getting. To, like... <laughs> she's. <laughs> She was like struggling she's, for sure against Gilgamesh. Though. She's a tank. Tanks are never OP. <laughs> hey but, man, we got Shield Hero for that. Yeah, right. Wait, that's that's true. But that being said, like, I mean, I love Mash. Like, I actually really hope she's just like uh, OP and just ends up just being a beast. I mean, this is like the seventh. Yeah, this the seventh singularity. So like, where's all the power ups? That's that's what I want to yeah. know. I wish I could say more, but I have not played the game past like the third singularity, third or fourth. So I'm I'm far behind. But all right. so, I guess it, yeah, that's all we have for Fake Grind Order. So um we can head over to Sword Art. So uh t- yeah. Brian, if you're still there, uh mute for this section because I know you are not caught up yet. Uh all right. Well actually wait before that, Brian, you just wanna like because Brian's slowly catching up to allization the first uh all right. I'm first I'm season. literally almost done. I probably have like maybe six episodes left. I just so, got what? to like cap. Why don't you just give us what you think real quick of uh, allization? All right. Uh, this man, Kirito, he, I don't know how, but this man is always getting to some type of shit. Like, this man is always life-threatening. He's never just <laughs> chilling out and just enjoying life. This man's like, nope, gotta kick it to the next level. Yep. Fucking gets ambushed by the dude from Laughing Coffin, because apparently there was one guy left that I completely forgot about. I don't think they ever even explained it. They kind of just threw him in. Yeah, it was like, hey, this dude survived yeah. from no, no, they big explained ass it. battle. Did no, they? no, before that though. Before that, like, because I, I know, like, when they they first showed him up, like, showed up, and then they they showed the flashback, like, at that moment. But it's just like they never showed him up to that point. That's what I mean. Sorry, bro. No, this is your time. Uh, oh yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this man is just always in a life threatening situation. So, Jesus, dude, chill out just a little bit. All right. <laughs> but uh overall the story is pretty cool. Uh I like the concept of you go into this machine in like a dreamlike state and you come out and forget everything. Granted that part sucks, but you know, you can't that take that shit to real life so no one knows who the what the hell happened. And then what else happened? Uh So after like oh. he keeps yeah, go ahead, Brian. All right. This, when I got to the episode where it's like, if you were discretion of this vice, I was like, all right, <laughs> what kind of shit you got planned? Because season Definitely one can be bad and sort of season one. These two, these chicks are like getting licked by a pervert, pervert and shit, of like nearly raped. It's like, all right, season two, same shit happens. All right, all right, what can you happen now? These two chicks literally almost get raped. Actually, they they just got molested in front of this one dude, and then they just they just one dude just dies, dude. Limbs are getting cut off. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> what is this? Hello? <laughs> Brian, I also want to say, too, this aired at the same time as Goblin Slayer. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So, and Did this, it actually? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was the same time as Goblin Slayer. I guess. So, I, so what happened? And then, like, Goblin Slayer, that, at that point, um, this was, like, in between arcs, exactly. so nothing was happening in Goblin Slayer. So people were like, so then they saw this discussion for Sword Art, and then, like, did I watch the wrong show? You know, yeah, it's like, 
Yo, this is fu- this is like that scene. I was legit just cringing in my because it was so hard for me to watch. I'm like, this is so brutal, dude. Like this dude is literally he can't move because he's getting told not to go any further. Trying to help yep. these two girls out. I'm like, bro, this is actually hard to watch. Like, yep. and then I was over here <laughs> keeling over. I'm like, holy shit, this yep. is just so intense for no reason. I'm like, all right. They need to die. Like, at least one of them. I was so glad when that dude <laughs> died. Just keeled over. I was like, you deserve it, dude. Yeah. Even <laughs> though he's AI, it shit. still felt good. Yeah. Oh, that too. Like, I think it's fucked up. Just the whole concept of why they came up with this shit is to create AI, one, to, like, murder people or kill or, like, war okay, so or whatever. Okay, part. Okay. And two, it's like, the dude was like, yeah, a thousand AI that just pretty much are close to being sentient. Sentient. Are just yeah. worthless compared to one actual life. I'm like, bro. Like, I think there was a show <laughs> that people watch called like Black Mirror or some shit on like Netflix or whatever. I was like, that. That's just that. There, there has to be a line, right? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. that's just brutal. Like, just to watch because over the whole thing, I'm like, damn, these characters are pretty cool. That one blonde hair dude, what whatever, whatever his name was, like Yu-Gi-Oh? Gene or some shit. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. That man seems cool, man. He has a pretty cool background is like hey man i'm a woodcutter <laughs> next yep. you know i was i was born to cut a tree down next thing you know i'm just i'm just a god that just uses ice for a living i was like damn this dude's pretty cool and then this man's talking about like you're human too i'm like oh bro don't do this <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know not like this yo. <laughs> right, I, I just want you to think just just imagine if this happened in our world just imagine that google Took all of the data of the people that search on on their search engine, and they made it into the AI, and they created a world based off people's data from Google and YouTube. Yo, we're we're so fucked. And that's how <laughs> people, that's how people, people search on that. We're so fucked. That's that's how we make the Google system is through that sort of art world. It's it's like that's so it's so much, dude. There has to be a line. That's why, like, people like Elon Musk is like, hey, if we're gonna go down this AI route, we have to have like a limit to what they can do or else they're going to go out of control and just we're all dead. It's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that like, like, you know, nowadays that like a lot of the AI stuff that we saw in science fiction are starting to slowly come on. Yeah. You mean take like, over? Just kind of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kind of. That shit, that shit was so intense. I was like, Jesus, I'm, I'm you know when there. Uh, you know when AI what? takes over, they look online, they basically find out about what Skynet it is, they're going to become Skynet. That's going to be the code name for taking over everything through. <laughs> I'm calling it now. You heard it here I first. Mean, I mean, realistically, though, it's like we're still far away from that kind of AI. Are we? No, yeah. I don't think so. No, we're we're super far from generalized. We have like we have AI that is good at doing specific tasks, but like we don't have like, the general AI that that's like that's like you know Terminator or like iRobot or anything or like that can do a whole bunch of things because like you look at. But like a lot, you know, AI they can like do calculations really fast, but they can't like pick up anything or move around because it's that, that that's a lot of complicated things to keep track of. For well, see, that's the thing. I know, I don't know if it was Google or Facebook, but they were trying to build their own AI to develop or try to grasp the concept of language, and then didn't they have to shut it down because they were creating their own language in fear of it being like Skynet or something of that know. nature? It's probably Google. I don't know. Google's just huge. Ah. Uh, but it's like, I mean, if you look at the field of AI, it, like a lot, of, a lot of it's overhyped. So you think it's overhyped? <sighs> Bro, I don't. Think that's it's what overhyped. that's what like a lot of the research says. So that's why I'm hearing so far. Like, I'm not an AI expert, but like I, I mean, can definitely same. see Same. I'm it. not an AI expert, but I'm just an Elon. I can Musk I can definitely boy. see it. Like, <laughs> this man is legitimately concerned just, about AI. So. Just like based on the limited things I know about machine learning, like that's. Oh. But I mean, yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking machine learning class right now. But like the things we're doing, we're, we're it's basic. But like even just like a lot of the research shows, we're, we're still not really at the general AI form yet. But yeah, that so far so good. Uh, characters are cool. Uh, Kirito is just still OP as hell. Um, you know, feels bad for the erasure of just all the memory, but it is what it is. Uh, almost done. I'll give you guys final thoughts, man. But I'll let you guys get in currency. Hmm. 
<laughs> all right. Thanks, Brian. Yep. So, all right. So we're we're on. I think this is just the second episode of Sword Art, right? Yeah. Yeah. Second episode. Okay. Yep. Only second. Uh, thoughts so far? Uh, oh. Shit is getting real. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> since I was not able to talk about like, or no, we skipped it last week. But the, yeah, the first episode, I I I couldn't stop laughing when uh, I watched the opening, where it's just like the the two sisters are sitting there laughing, having a good time, making it like look like it's a it's a it's a slice of life comedy, and all this other stuff, blah blah blah. And then all of a sudden, they just kind of pan out. And they're just sitting in the corner in a wheelchair. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like, it just seemed like they were having like a good time, and you know, Kirito was just dead in a wheelchair. And then, um, because I, I mean, I first thought that we, that uh, Kirito was just completely burned out. I, th- I didn't know that there was any way he could actually still be talking, um, mm-hmm. or even kind of like, kind of had any kind of like uh, senses for anything. But uh, and until he started, you know, moaning and making noises and stuff, I was like, okay, all right, well, th- there, he's still kind of there, kind of. But uh, yeah, he's there, but he just doesn't have the capacity to affirm what he wants to do or say. So he's right. kind of just yeah. like muttering yep they reference that in the in the episode in episode two yeah two okay sorry i ended up watching them both uh back to back like a few days ago mm, okay so i'm getting kind of confused on which is which is which but um i mean uh, second episode was pretty badass with alice finally i'm surprised like she actually got been a back beast. back like that fast because the first episode it made it kind of sound like she was like a struggle for a while about what she wants to do and then episode two, it's like she got real. It's like okay, I guess I'm gonna be a knight now. Yeah, yeah. It was nice that they actually didn't like uh, milk it. I guess where yeah. I know like there's a few times in Star Art where it just it took forever for them to get to the point, and then it's like they. I mean, episode two, like they got it down. Oh, I, remember, it, at least. I remember like Reddit too. Was, again, talking about like the village, like the villagers that took away like you know Kito's sword and like that that guy who was like taking advantage of Alice. That was, like that was just dumb. Like, that's know. the thing about Sora. It's like, man, they just make, like, the most, like, what's what's the word? Like, like just don't, like, villains you just really hate. Like, they're unredeemable villains. Like, there's, like, no, like. The, well, it's, like, in, just, in actual, just, like, assholes like, for no reason. Yeah, like, there, like, there'd really be no reason for, like, that guy to even really exist. Like, like uh-huh. it's, like, it's like, oh, yeah, that guy said it. We could take it. He was just making noises. It's like, look, it's, like, okay, dude, that. Like, like in no way that would happen, because it's like this is still like the AI universe where they really can't be breaking rules. Where they're, I mean, I guess in a way they well, were really I mean, breaking a rule, they, but they can't like, now because so because yeah. I think because since now that the the clown guy is gone, there's no one running the the senators to uphold the rules. Oh, okay. But I don't think people in general don't know that, so I think that's why they still follow the rules. Wait, right. so was that on him or was that on uh, administrator? I think he was running the senator. But okay. he, I mean, they're both gone, so there's no one doing anything. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, I think he was, like, managing it, but I don't think he was the one that was in charge of it, in a sense. No. Well, I mean, they're both gone now, so... Well, yeah. I thought that the whole rule was basically... It was just, like, a rule of, like, the... Yeah, I don't even know what the... You think it was, like, a, like, 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 the game put it in there? Yeah, it was it? basically just, like, an, like a, it was a rule that all AI had to follow. No, so I, I think... I, I think it was a rule that the administ- they. I think she put it. She either cast a spell, or she like actually went to like a, like the source code and like and programming it right there. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember I think that. Whatever happened, I think now that she's gone, it doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's anyone there to like enforce it anymore. So it's probably a dead system. Gotcha. Because the way that, like where um because we saw like that it was the senators that like I was looking at everything. I think that's why it was a spell that made the rules. And so she was just so strong that she could like find out if anyone broke them and like put the penalty. Yeah, I can see that. Like I I just figured she was the one that kinda like made the rule in like in the coding or whatever it was, and then they basically by like the law they had to follow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that was the whole thing with like you know like their eyes exploding. It's just like they wasn't that basically just kind of like the like the showing that they were like breaking the code. Or I think that's something else. I think that's that's the the actual um program. Oh okay. No, I want to say it's what well, says right. Like it's them being able to like break free and like them creating their free will. That's or why they're. Is it really like the the crystal that the administrator put in? 
Uh, no, I don't think that's it either. Because remember, Ujio, uh, yeah, he, Ujio yeah, had Ujio. it too, and he didn't have any crystals put in him. But um, I think it's more the fact that uh, it's when his AI goes out of character, or he he uh, he's able to uh, go past the rules. That's why his his eye breaks or whatever. Yeah, because because that, that was what that uh, I don't even remember the guy's name. The guy that that sent that that actually put Kirito in the system. Like, yeah. that that's oh, yeah. their goal. It was basically to give AI free will. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's happening. Just I assume in a different way than what he was expecting. Yeah, true. Yeah, instead of happening to Alice first, it happened to Yujiro first when Alice yep. was taken away. So, yep, yeah, Yujiro, Yujiro was awesome. <laughs> And then one he turned into a fucking eat. sword and just started yeah. flying his shit. Yeah. You didn't like him at first. <laughs> yeah, one of the one of like the three, you know, only characters they talk they've talked about like this entire this entire uh, arc, I guess. Man, I still think it's I still think it's pretty dumb that like that Yujiro took the memory of the old Alice with them when he died, so now it's like gone. Yeah. And now it's just like <laughs> just the night Alice. I don't know, it's just they couldn't just finally ship like uh, other couple besides Kirito and Asuna on the show. That's still that just ruined it. Hey man, they shipped uh, Yujiro and Alice in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's good enough, right? So yeah, yeah, that's how you make it seem like not as bad. I don't know. This 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 writer is something else. But anyway, I was also um I was surprised to hear like the the goblins talking, but then I remember like. The first season, they they were in the they were in the ice cave and they were fighting against the goblins there too. So did they talk though? Oh, well, maybe they, they did. I, I do remember. Them talking, it was just actually. a while ago, but it's like yeah. I I forgot that like they existed because like the whole it was so focused on like the church for so long. Uh-huh. I forgot. Oh yeah, there's like there's other like goblins and like monsters like yeah, besides the knights <laughs> doing other stuff, and so it was kind of we kind of got, got reintroduced to them this episode with the invasion. Yeah, and then now it's just cleaned house. Yeah. Turn a dragon. That's right, the dragon. <laughs> Forgot the dragon's name, but the dragon's OP as well. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm in, I'm still uh, I'm enjoying it. I, I actually do want to see where it, it just, goes. It kind of feels weird though. How like it just feels like this separate thing going on. Where like the invasion of like the dark territory after administrator is gone, while at the same time they have to like wait for Kirito to wake up and also like defend against <laughs> the people invading. It's just like. Yeah. It just seems so separate. Like that's, that's, I don't really see the connecting pieces. So that's that's another thing that the, that this writer does, where it's just like he'll focus on Kirito, then all of a sudden he won't have Kirito like really any part of it with like a uh, Mother's Rosario, and it just focuses on Asuna, and then it'll focus on Kirito and like you know somebody else, and then it'll go back to like, like right now it basically it's Alice and uh, what I assume well, is going to be. I'm just saying that, like the whole thing with like Asuna. the dark territory invading, it just it just seems so separate from like everything else going on. Just it feels it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. I don't feel like yeah. besides like I guess yeah. we were watching it was just like when you when you like compare that to like what's happening outside in the real world too. It's just everything just feels so separate. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like separate and they like, also like doesn't seem like that big of a deal. oh. Just a bunch of like orcs uh, and uh, goblins. It's like, and then a basically Alice just blows AI them up. Orcs. Yeah, and it's just and like fake AI orcs invading fake AI villagers. Yep. yep. <laughs> so it's like, it's just yeah, it's I'm, hard to like to yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna watch this. Like, I'm still just gonna finish it up. Oh, I mean, same, but like. Yeah, it's, it's but it's it's definitely not like on it's not like on the top tier shows. It's uh, it's, it's sorta. I shouldn't be like overthinking. Yeah, it's, just, it's basically I just, just watch it's it. Just, it's just a feeling <laughs> I have when I watch. watch it. It's yeah. Just feels so weird yeah but, but yeah <laughs> I, feel I think dirty doing it <laughs> yeah, no, right? it's like oh god do i have to watch this again and then you're like and then at the end of it, it's like i'm gonna keep going yeah just to see where this ha- what, what comes of this so but that's all i think that's all i got to say about this yeah week. same and like the lot previous week since we missed the the first season yeah. or first open uh, episode all right all right so that's it for Sort of, yeah. I guess we can bring Brian back, even though I don't think he's watched the next two shows. So, no, I don't think he's planning on watching uh the uh, the wrestling one. No, no. sounds like a bit of his alley. Yeah, I know, right? Konosuba, uh, the creator of Konosuba. Come on. All right. So yeah. we're so what's the name right. of this? So we're move on to the next show. Was what what's the name of the show? Oh boy. Uh... <clears throat> Go ahead, Kyle. Hatage. Kimono Michi, Kimono Michi, rise up. Yep. Or the other uh, English translation they have on my anime list, Kimono Michi, rise up. That's what Kuli just said after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had, no, it's because we have the whole 
Oh yeah, slash. Okay, see so Okay, ignore me. It's the whole thing. <laughs> Way yep. to pay attention. Yep. No, I was uh, reading the, the kind of like, so notes. Describe down. the show to someone who hasn't watched it yet. <laughs> you want to do it? You want me awesome. to do it? <laughs> go ahead. Go. I, I feel like right. I've talked too much. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. But uh, all right. So it's basically this wrestler, right? He's about uh, in the first episode. He's about to do his final match. He's about to retire. He's about to follow his lifelong dream of, of owning a zoo. Up. Yeah, <laughs> his own zoo, right? No, his own pet shop. I think is what he pet wanted. Shop. Pet, pet shop. Pet shop. My bad. Right. And then, like in the middle of his final match, he somehow gets summoned to another world, and then uh, he <laughs> is the the long-awaited hero that everyone has been looking for to defeat the Demon King or whatever. Oh, was like, he? <laughs> yeah. And then when uh, when the princess that summons him tells him what uh, what she wants him to do. He's furious because he loves animals. Like, this guy is legit infatuated with animals, right? So he can't stand a thought of hurting another animal. So what does he do? He fucking suplexes the princess, right? No <laughs> fucks given. Suplexes the princess, and then he just, like, darts it out of the castle. And then now yeah. he's uh, on his path to pursue his goal of owning a pet shop in this other world. A full and demon beast. Full of demon beast. And he's, like, super uh, strong. So uh, no one can seem to stop him. And that's as far as we've gotten so far. Which which seems so weird. Like, and you have like a you have an isekai where the guy mm-hmm. really has no special like magic or abilities besides mm-hmm. wrestling techniques, and he's still destroying everybody. Yeah, his strength stats is like off the charts. I mean, that's that just all shows, That just shows how weak everybody is in this in this uh, isekai. It's like really you you have to uh, your your hero is a, basically a wrestler that's about to retire. Um, it seems legit to me. Yeah. I mean that being said, like I mean, uh, comedy awesome. It's definitely the you can you. D- I definitely get the Konosuba vibes. It is kind of cringy though. Creator. Like I'm not gonna lie. Really it cringy? Is, where it is cringy at some points. I mean the fact that in episode one where he subdues the uh, the wolf guy, right? I thought it was hilarious. Right, <laughs> it, it, was, hilarious. it was hilarious, but it was also kind of cringy, right? Oh hell like, no! I I actually would like normally I would actually consider those like uh. I guess scenes cringe, but just like, like how they did it was it was just hilarious. It's basically like because it, he's just like pet, he's just like just petting in this uh, the guy, and the guy's like, oh my god, get this guy off me! This guy's nuts! This guy's crazy! And it's just like it, I don't know. It, it was just like it was just awesome. Yeah, I'm not saying it was like a bad cringe. It was a good yeah. cringe, but I'd, I'd say if there was a way to do it, like that was the only way they could have done it, um, and I think they yeah. nailed it perfectly. Yeah, it reaches the reaches the climax. The the virgin the virgin flower blooms. <laughs> Yeah, like if if episode one doesn't hook you in, I don't think this is the anime for you. In all honesty, I think episode one was like the best episode so far. Yeah, yeah. If it's basically what Ku said, if if you do not like the first episode, you you won't like the humor of the show and just probably drop it right there. Yeah, and if you're not into equality of all genders, then it's not for you. <laughs> and animal people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Also, if you're if uh, also like animal rights too. If you're for yeah. animal rights, you will enjoy the show. Yeah, PETA. If you like PETA, you would love this, right? Yep. This is a PETA approved show. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Dude, <laughs> was the second episode where the guy's like, "Oh, you know, like you're, you're like so good at like uh, was it slaying demon beasts or something like that?" And he drops, he drop yeah. kicks the guy. Don't you dare call me that. <laughs> <laughs> but he basically, I don't even think he said anything to the guy. He basically just kind of grabbed his hand, and on the like, next thing, you just see this guy about to drop kick him and just hits him. <laughs> Yeah, he either throws a, you into a wall or he drops kicks you. Yeah, or suplexes yeah, you. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's. I don't know. It's. I. I, I love the comedy in Konosuba, and this is basically like this gives me something until like the the movie comes here in November. Mm-hmm. So I can't. Yeah, it's 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 one of my favorite shows this season. It's definitely like my like comedy slice of life show. Not an army slice of life comedy. My isekai show for the season. Yeah, definitely. Yep. But yeah. Um. Anything else? Uh, highly recommended. I would I would really recommend watching it. Um, I don't think you would be disappointed. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's there's your endorsement from Straining Ku. <laughs> All right, uh, we're just gonna head over next to um, Ray Suki. Are you the only one who loves me? Do you want to talk about that a little bit? You'll be hearing our voices again for this one because I don't think you guys have watched this, have you? No. Okay. No. Uh, I. Oh, Brian, I read okay. the manga, so I have to watch out for spoilers. Ruiner. Ruiner. Um, God, we've been through this last week's trend. I know, I know, but I'm gonna keep saying it. Um, all right, Brian, we're like honestly, I think you would actually like this too, Brian. Like, it's I don't want to say the guy reminds me of uh, Hachiman, 
but there's like aspects of it that kind of like when he switches to the, the his hide personality, I was like, this is Hachimon. This is hell Hachimon. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, uh, go ahead, Ku, because I I talked about it last week, so I'll let you uh, your your thoughts this week. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, you can feel free to continue on. You said last oh, week. I'll 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 jump in here and there like I have been. All right. I mean, if you've ever watched the um, I can't believe my my senpai is a bunny girl anime i think if you like that anime you would like this anime as well i think the story is really well done i don't i don't know if i would really like if i would make like if i would compare the two like that they're kind of different no they, they are kind of different but then i feel like the story right like the way the story is written and it the way it draws you in i feel like it would draw you in the same way as that anime um i think that's kind of that kind of gives the wrong impression i think just like i think it's just because like they're both like uh like romance light novels it's like it's kind of like the style that a lot of rom- like high school like romance light novels go go to, through but to yeah. say that like so i think it's just the style but like the but just just the the, the character the, the, the main character is just like he's the one that like that's, that's right they're the different characters they're not exactly yeah. the same but i yeah. feel like the way the story is driven is, is somewhat similar i don't know if i if i if someone who liked bunny senpai i don't know if i would really recommend them this show Really? Because like the, the main character's motivations, like I mean, it's it's funny, but like it just also just seems like if you try to look at it as a serious plot point, it just feels really shallow. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's shallow at all. I mean, if you really, I mean, it's based on like a person's split personalities, and there's that one girl that that really loves both his sides, like loves him completely rather than just his uh, appearance, which is. Uh, Doctor Jekyll, I guess, is a good guy and hides the evil one, right? I think so. Right. I don't know. It's just like I just, I just feel like I've seen so many of these, like, 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 like romance or rom coms for where it's stuff like this happens, where like, like just the girl like going along with it. It just feels like it's just like a plot device. Like, but this is Deku's voice actor, mm-hmm. and it's so awesome to see Deku just calling people bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so, <you> know. <laughs> What is this anime called? Uh, or it's on the yeah, it's on the it's on the bottom the bottom box. Yeah. yeah, like honestly, yeah. like Brian, you will laugh. You you will laugh. The first episode was was awesome. Um, and then the second episode, I actually thought like it kind of got like more into like the serious role, and until you find out like what happens in the third, it's like damn, I'm liking the show. Mm-hmm. Like it's I don't know. Like I was. <sighs> I don't know. I wasn't really sure like who I was for for like main girls, but like definitely I'm I'm certain like the uh, the girl that has everything planned, or that's what it seems like. It basically just like everything is like by her like uh, her planning, and it just it's working perfectly. Yeah, and then if you pay attention, uh, whenever uh, like a plan would be implemented by the girl, right? They would always hint like a literature book that would kind of, if you knew the story, can kind of hint about what's going to happen next. And I kind of like that, right? It's oh, damn. Like, That's right. Right. So if you're really, if you're paying attention to all the subtle hints in the stories and you pay attention to, um, like, all the literature that they're uh, uh, referencing off of, you can kind of tell how the story's going to turn out, which I think is a pretty nice touch. And then with the whole Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, I mean, that's probably the more common one that people know of. Oh, yeah. So with the way that the MC is constantly like changing behavior or uh, he's showcasing his true feelings to like the audience, yeah. like, I think that's a pretty nice touch too. Like it's actually more in depth than you think if you if you pay attention. Yeah. Also, like for like the this last episode too, where it kind of goes through like the what everybody was kind of thinking and just re- realizing like the main character is actually thinking about everybody else before himself where he was uh at the end of the second episode or maybe even during the third episode where it just seemed like everybody hated the guy mm-hmm. and uh i mean it, he'd be, i mean well one he just it didn't seem like he really even cared he's just like eh. i mean i don't want to say like it's like whatever but right. it's more like he was just kind of dealing with it because he got himself in that situation and he kind of like like re- like recognized it and mm-hmm. then the girl in the library got him out of it by uh basically just like uh having him hide and then you just kind of find it and then having him listen in on his who is his considered his best friend? I don't know if he, mm-hmm. I don't know if he thinks of him as a best friend still, but uh, but it was pretty uh, badass where he basically he would actually like stood up for himself or not not for himself but the uh, childhood friend and the other girl. Yeah. But I'm trying to think uh, if there was anything else that was noteworthy for the show. Uh, I, I don't remember how 
this last episode ended? Uh, it basically ended with um, like him clearing out his name, and then uh, everyone's oh, kind right. of true intentions popping up, and then him realizing that the person that he he fell for at the uh, at the oh, end of that yes. one baseball game was That's actually right. her the whole time. It was her. That's right. right. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you're you really not pretty. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. She did look really different, right? I mean, you got to think about it. She had the, yes. the, the the bandages around the chest to make it look smaller. She had the pigtails and the glasses, which completely hit her face, I guess. Like the whole Clark Kent Superman, right? Like, how can you not tell that sound with just glasses, right? Yeah. Uh, but with anime, they made it more extreme to where she really did look different. Um, Yeah. And it's basically just, oh, like, this is who I was the whole time. And it's like, can I really love her, even though she's really pretty on the outside, but on the inside, she's really hideous or yeah, and like her version it's like the complete opposite too basically his looks but his personality for some reason she like finds really shitty yeah, yeah so yeah i don't know i i actually i'm liking this show it's been a while since i've actually wa- like uh, since i've watched like a, a rom-com that i've actually enjoyed um, so funny is, senpai. yeah i should have <laughs> i completely skipped it or uh but maybe I'll, I'll return to it someday but uh for now i'll uh just watch it and like then with the the when the movie comes out on Blu-ray, you can watch that too. Hey, we'll see. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> my god! But, but also though, with with the way it's going though, uh, I I believe I read some comments where it's supposed to like different arcs, right? And they're finishing up this arc with the library girl, the best friend, and the two girls that likes his best friend. I'm oh. just afraid where it's kind of like Bunny Senpai, where after the first arc, like it oh kind of dies down, right? Like it's still good, but it's not as like it doesn't draw you in as as much as like the first arc did. Kind of like gamers. Like I loved, I I still love gamers, but it definitely went downhill towards. Yeah. So I mean, I guess we'll kind of see what happens in the next couple of episodes. Oh, also, they announced the final yeah, I saw. volume of gamers I saw, David. is coming I saw. out. So Even I'll though we up. never we never got licensed here in English, so see, I uh, it's okay. I'll look up spoilers. I'll see who he ends <laughs> up with, and then depending on the depending on the outcome, I may read it. I don't think there's any transition out. That's the thing. Yeah, that's depressing too. I don't know how. I love gamers, but anyway, yeah. that can be on a separate podcast. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, anything else for Orde Suki? I mean, I think Ku hit like the main parts of like what the show is. So we'll have to just kind of see what the the next arc is like. Yeah, if you like rom coms and you like something that that is actually fairly in depth and fairly funny as well, that's done well. I think you would enjoy it. So and you like Deku's voice actor. Cause uh, and you like this, and you just uh, kind of wonder like, hmm, I wonder if Deku was just an asshole, what he would sound like. This is the anime. You know, until you pointed it out to me, I didn't notice that it was Deku. Oh, dude! Uh, like immediately, like I noticed that. I was like, I was like, damn, it's just, it's just awesome, basically. Just see, <laughs> just see Deku's voice actor just be like, shut up, bitch. No, no, Strand. <laughs> I've never wondered if, if really? one of Deku's voice was an asshole. Really? Even though Deku is just like, oh man, this guy's so nice and I don't, you know, I don't think well, like, what just happened? Like, just snapped. I don't think like, it's that way. <laughs> okay, fine. I All guess right. I'm the only guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's it for Oisuke. Um, I think me and Ku are the only ones who watch the the uh, high school prodigies. Just want to give like a quick. Just oh, okay. Quick so on that. what's it called? Cho Cho Yoyui. Cho Yoyui. Uh, high school prodigies. Uh, so yeah, I have a thing for Isekis, right? I just kind of like it because I want to see what uh, like different artists and authors uh, throw out there, what their ideas of like Isekis are. And uh, I think this one is actually is is done fairly well, right? There's there's seven um, prodigies, and they're all like the best in their field, right? There's a uh, there's the uh, prodigy politician, there's a swordswoman, uh, scientist, uh, entrepreneur, a magician. Uh, a ninja slash journalist and a doctor or surgeon, right? I think those are the seven. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for some reason, they're going to this meeting on this plane, and then they get transported to another world for some reason where their plane crash, and then um, the the a village that's nearby finds them, nurses them back, and then they have to realize that oh, you're we're in a different world. We have to find a way to get back. So it's kind of the generic stuff. It's really generic. Very generic stuff. Um, but I, I like the characters, I like the way that they're uh, that they're being developed, and then I believe this is what the third episode. Yeah, I didn't watch the third episode, but 
Yeah. So the first three episodes, they kind of uh, focused on the entrepreneur guy, the yeah. prodigy entrepreneur guy, and it's. I feel like it's it's fairly it was done fairly well. It wasn't like rushed or anything. And... No, I, I enjoyed uh, the yeah the, the entrepreneur guy just because like it's nice like going away from like the the whole like like hero like trope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's something different, right? And it's not like where they're like everyone's like overpowered. Like everyone is good at one thing, but they kind of just average or they suck at everything else. And they're I just mean, like it's, normal it's teenagers. Ridic- it's, it's that ridiculous point where it's like you're going to have a high schooler be the prime minister. You're going to have, you know, a high schooler be this invention that makes a mini nuclear reactor just like uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it happens all the time, man. It happens all the time. Come on now. Yeah. And of course, high schooler is able to be on the world's best like surgeon yeah you know japan they just like whatever you can do asians just do better and apparently (laughs) japan just does everything better right okay the the seven pillars of our society they just do it better right um and i and i think it's fine because like on the third episode um it kind of showcases that yeah uh you know like i'm good at making money but when it comes down to it like i'm not strong i can't really back myself up and then I rely on the other members to kind of help me out. And then that's where the magician comes in. Like, they were all going to get killed or sent to prison or whatever. And then the magician, um, I don't think they really showcased it, what he did at the end mm-hmm. of the episode. You but, just, uh, yeah. I think a fire just, ha- magic trick. Yeah. Right. Not, right. not actual magic. Right. I mean, I don't know. The guy can literally float, right? So, I don't know. I mean, like, in the anime, it seems legit. But I'm, I'm sure there's a trick no. behind it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and they they rely on him to like get out of it, and then even then they couldn't save that one uh, the one elf chick, so she gets kidnapped, and now the next episode is they're gonna have to try to get her back. So, um, I mean, I like it. It's not like it's, that one guy is just overpowered. It's more it's more balanced, I think. I guess, but it's still like it's not a serious show, so it's oh no, it's never serious. I mean, it's anime, yeah. but I mean, I, I think it's just cool. like just a quick like kind of like just like tangent like i don't know i just the thing about a lot about you say kai's is like i just feel like there's a lot of wasted potential it's just like just so much of the same thing going on or or just like a slight like uh derivation of like the same thing so like i still i still watch them just because like i like anime so I, I just having just it's like it's usually a guilty pleasure but it at the same time like it start. It it is really annoying that like they're all like almost the same, or they fall into the same like the same tropes. Yeah, to be honest, at their Sword Art Online, I think that was the first Isekai that I've ever watched. And then there was another one. There's another series that came out after that, which I believe it was like Log Horizon. Log like Horizon. It was pretty much. Yeah, yeah it was basically the same shit, but just different cast, right? And I also enjoyed that too, but not as much because it was kind of played out. Well, the thing is, like, those are different because too, because those are like MMO style. Or like, right, where but it's the still video, the same it, concept, right? Where you're just being drawn into a different world. Uh, I think like it, it's animals are different though, because because like everything's like virtual, so it doesn't. I guess sword art, like you know, you had the the death, you had the, the dying part, but like a lot of isekais too. Like there's a lot of times where they get revived into like and fancy worlds where like RPG elements, and it just it just doesn't feel like it doesn't feel real. It just Everything just feels convenient because the RPG mechanics. Right. And then, and then as I was mentioning, like after Log Horizon, I really don't watch Isekais for the content. It's more just of like, I just want to see what others are exploring, like what their yeah. concept of it would be like. Yeah. Yeah. And then I do get kind of sick of the whole, oh, I'm overpowered. I can kind of do whatever I want. And then it's like, what's what's the point of watching this? Is It's going to be the same show as every other Isekais out there. Yeah, see, like, at this point, it's, like, I'm much more interested in, like, the, the worlds and, and, like, the character or even the plot. Like, I just want to see more of, like, different worlds. But it's mm-hmm. always, like, the same, like, fantasy, so. Or just character development. Like, how are they going to develop this character in this world? And how is it going to play out, right? I, I think that's what intrigues me the most, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I think that's it. We're, that's it for um, High School Prodigies. Uh, there's like other shows I'm watching, but like I haven't caught up, caught up with them. And this, I was we were planning to have this, like, try actually try to get under an hour. We're way past <laughs> that. Yeah, 
That was, we kind of missed like that part. Nearing, what, almost two hours now. Yeah, we are. Yeah, a whole lot. It's getting there. Yeah. But, so. Yeah. And I think I think we should, we should expect the episodes to be like this long, or especially if we have like if we like it was just three people last week. It was already like an hour and a half. Yeah, I think with more people, it just gets longer too. So I think we should just expect this to be like at least for this season when we have a lot of shows to talk about. I think maybe well, later we'll I, have less shows, but I do think it'll speed up as well. Like once we actually like we're we've all like we're currently watching the show. We don't have to go back to like you know start, kind of start back from like uh get kind of a recap of the entire season. Cause yeah. Because like because we the the shows that took the longest this week besides Hero Academia were ones that we did not talk about last week. Yeah, we're just like yeah in that weird transition phase where it's yeah. like so because well, we started like in the middle of some shows so like we had to like do recaps and then like also like yeah people weren't caught up last week too so we're like in this weird transition phase hopefully maybe like by the time the winter season starts like we can get like a clean cut and like ho- hopefully after like we, we get a more experience doing this like everything be much much more smoothly too yeah i mean uh, there is a lot of shows this season though there's a lot yeah for real. yeah, yeah. yeah I was, this is definitely a, an intense season yeah i was looking at like next season's possible shows i'm like i'm not gonna watch like 95 percent of these shows yeah this right is, this might be our long <laughs> like season. next season it looks like just absolute garbage to me this, like, is, this, is really <laughs> this might be the season where you know like where it's like a bunch of those anime shows oh man the first season was so good and the second season oh god that was terrible <laughs> trash this is the, yeah, this is the this is the fairy arc um yeah, so de- definitely winner yeah well, but it, winner line up maybe if we have well if we get like we could cut it down like maybe we can actually like talk about other stuff but yeah that, I mean, that's for later though Let, let's let's focus on my main goal is just like the just because we we just started, like I just want just to improve. Yeah. So, the if, so if there's anybody like uh that's uh that's watching this, like if you have any feedback, you know, just give it to us. If it's too long, or uh, if we're talking about a show too long, or uh, a short too short, or if there's even like another show that we just maybe missed that we might be watching that, but we just need to get time to get to, you know, just let us know. I still doubt there's anyone listening to this right now. <laughs> Oh god! I hope there's a, I hope there's a comment and then just is like I'm listening. For oh yeah. This, yeah, anyone they can prove me wrong anytime, I'm man. Just negative, so <laughs> negative. We're gonna come back a year later and I'm still gonna be right. <laughs> Hate this David guy. It's so negative. And that cool guy, he talks forever. And that <laughs> and that threatened dude. Oh man, he needs anger management. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you want to see, I, I, I did rant for the first episode. I was uh, I was pretty tame this one. Okay, yeah. you're right. You're right. And that Sasha guy needs to be checked. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. It's been going for so damn long. A long so. time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll start. Usually, we record this on Sundays. Hopefully, we get them up by Tuesday nights. So that's also my other goal, like trying to be consistent and try to get this up every week. So, but yeah. So thanks for anyone who actually listened to this. To like uh, two hours, uh-huh. like to the end, <laughs> two hours long. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. I love you. Yeah. Thank you.